And here I have something very interesting. Look at this shape. Can you guess what this is? Hello guys, welcome to my channel. As some of you know, I do a lot of 3D printing stuff on my channel and mainly in the winter when I cannot fly my drones because it's too cold over here. So I've been printing lately uh, well-known monuments like the Colosseum in Rome, the Parthenon in Athens in Greece, but I also print useful uh, items that I never presented on my channel. So I thought that I would do a video today to show you these items, but I'm going to let you guess what they are because they're not obvious, especially the last one. The last one I'll have to take you to a location to show where it is installed. The, pr the first ones will be obvious and I'll start now. And here we have a chess set. The beauty of a 3D printer, you can print your own chess set and you can change the scale or the size. So this is very useful. So I printed this and I did a uh, video on my channel of my uh, chess set, which I printed in red and blue. And I also did silk copper. Look at that here. It's a very, very nice uh, finish. And I did the black also for a test. I also printed a different type of uh, chess set, as you can see here. They're different. They were part of a uh, of a test I did. I put their parameters here at the bottom of the of the piece. So another type of uh, chess set. And then I have here. You can probably guess what this is. Look at this. Look at this. The side camera here. Yes, I think you guessed it right. It's a cell phone holder. So this was for my uh, old LG V30 which I don't have uh, anymore. So very useful. Oh, and the cable would hide, as you can see here, under the base. And here I have something very interesting. Look at this shape. Can you guess what this is? I'll give you uh, three seconds. It's an egg holder. You put a boiled egg over here, you just chop the top, and you eat your egg with a spoon. So look at that. And it simulates the, an egg falling in water with all the drops, the droplets uh, going up on the side. So this is a very nice set. So, and by the way, most of these items you can find on Thingiverse.com, and I'll put the link in my video description. Now, the next items here, this one. I have four because I printed different colors and you need four also to use these. So I'll give you a hint. This is in a well-known game. So can you guess what this is? Well, let me show you briefly. Scrabble, the game of Scrabble. So I found that the stock holder, and that depends on the version of Scrabble you buy, but the stock holder is very very bad like you put your letters and um, if you're not if you're not careful like they can fall if you touch them to the top they fall like this and then the people beside you see your letters and you get mad you get upset and then you start a fight and then you stop playing Scrabble because you had a fight now this is in my family so I designed these there is a little ledge uh, over here as you can see so the letters will not fall forward and they will not fall sideways and this is high enough they won't tip over so very very nice for Scrabble the next item and I have two colors to show you I had the print failure here with the mauve but I wanted to show you mauve it's a very very nice color this is mauve so what do you do with this thing what do you think you do? I'll give you a hint. Food. To eat something. Let me show you the item. Tacos. Look at that. It's a taco holder. And uh, it's for three, but typically in my family we eat two, so we can put one here and one here. And because there is nothing in the middle, it's easy to pick up your tacos. Because you know the, the problem with tacos is that you eat and then you want to pick up something else and your taco doesn't stay up in your plate. So this is perfect 
very useful. We use this all the time when we eat uh, Mexican food in uh, our family. The next item you will never guess, I'll put it here. I'll show you the profile. As you can see on the side camera, there's a little profile. You will guess, I'm going to tell you. This is an insert I, uh, I designed myself, this one, for um, my wife's Hyundai Sonata. The uh, coffee cup or the mug holder is too wide and her mug was falling sideways all the time in the car. So I, I designed and I printed this insert in black to fit with her uh, dashboard. So to hold the uh, coffee mug in place. Now our last item of uh, today. And you will never guess what this is. Look at this. Look at this on the side camera. You have holes over here. This is your first clue. You have two holes at the ends. I had to modify this, so I had to do a remix of the file on Thingiverse.com. I had to put more, um, more uh, thickness over here, so about 1.5 centimeters. So like I said, you cannot guess what this is, but extremely useful if you have this in your uh, household. So let me take my side camera and I'll take you to the location. All right, let's go to our location. We are here in the basement and let's go upstairs. Oh, there's no light here. There you go. Let's go from here to the garage. Right here. And we'll put maybe turn a bit more lights on there you go and this is it right here look at that these that you see here are these brackets over here so this is for skateboards so as you can see skateboards and i had to put more right here i had to put more um, uh, depth to it because of the angle here so the stock design on Thingiverse is not thick enough that the skateboards would touch the wall over here. And uh, when I, let me put this one on the floor. When I did uh, the installation here, I didn't drill the hole here big enough. So as you can see, there is a crack on the first one, but the other three went flawlessly. So very, very solid. And uh, my daughter and my son, can now hang their skateboards and they wanted to do it this way so that we can see the bottom, especially my son because of his, uh, what does he call it again? Uh, sticker, yeah, sticker bomb. So as you saw, very interesting and useful items like the special bracket for skateboards. As always, if you have any questions, put them down below and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day. See you next time. Goodbye, guys.